Hollywood writers began voting today to ratify a tentative contract with the major TV and movie studios. Late night TV shows are back in production tonight after last week's agreement ended a nearly 150 day strike. It comes as the Screen Actors Guild heads back to negotiations, hoping for a resolution of their own. ABC News contributor and senior entertainment reporter at ESPN's Anscape, Kelly Carter, joins me now for more. Kelly, how do you think the writer's tentative deal could influence the actor's negotiations? Yeah, you know, I think that everybody on both sides are hopeful that that the actors are going to arrive at a resolution a little bit quicker because of what happened with with the writers deal. You know, I think some of the things that are that are cheap for them on the list would be those higher residuals and also protection from artificial intelligence. And because the writers really successfully got what they wanted with those points in particular, I think that SAG after members are hoping, you know, for the same thing. Now, many late night shows are resuming production tonight. Last week tonight with John Oliver already came back. What do you expect to hear from the rest of the late night hosts tonight? I, I feel like a lot of the late night hosts are going to take their cue from what John Oliver did on Sunday night, which was, you know, they all have been off the air for, for five months. And so what John did was he kind of caught his audience up, you know, running through like five months of, of stories and news. And then he turned serious and talked about the strike and, and talked about how it was immensely important what was happening right now and how, you know, that, that gap, that deal needed to be closed. And I expect that, you know, Kimmel and and everyone else coming back, Colbert, you know, Will and Jimmy Fallon will do the same thing. They're going to poke a little bit of fun about being off air for all of those months. And, and then they're going to also be very clear about what their positioning is with regards to this strike right now. Now, the actors are calling for several changes, including wage increases, AI protections and improvements in health and retirement benefits. What are you watching out for as negotiations resume? I mean, the, the AI thing, I feel like, is is kind of a keystone because it's a new uh, it's a new thing that people are talking about, along with the residuals, specifically with regards to what's happening in the streaming world and also in the on-demand world, too. I mean, so much has changed since the last time that contract has been ratified, and I think that they want a reflection of what life is like right now in 2023 and beyond um, to be represented in those contracts. And so looking out for what those changes might be and if they're going to get the things that they want, I think it's also important to note that the kind of union heads for for the Writers Guild told sag after members, you know, at a, at a rally recently, we got most of what we wanted. We didn't get everything that we wanted, but we got most of what we wanted. And so they are very optimistic that the actors will, will do the same when they meet with the big studios. All right, ABC News contributor Kelly Carter. Thanks, Kelly. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.